I thought it was a wonderful, wonderful rendition. It was especially important to me because the night Dr. King was killed was the night I decided to attend law school. That was a seminal moment in my life, so this was very, very impressive, and very emotional filled, and very impactful. That's our reality, that is our lived reality. And that is America's lived reality, and the more we deal with our lived realities, the more we can change it. He was a mentor to a lot of people, although he didn't know it, he was my mentor. I thought it, it gave a human touch, you know. He was human. It, it has a great message to it. It's humorous, <laughs> so it, it, it has a, a, a lot to entertain you with. You saw that uh, Dr. Dr. King uh, was just, just like us. You know, when you think about it, there's no surprise that he would have to have a sense of humor and want to have fun and be more jovial and down to earth just to get through the tough and difficult days that he did. And one thing about the Garden Theater, I've been to several productions here now at this point, and they have been very intentional about ensuring that through the arts and culture that is presented here at this theater, that it is representative of the entire community. And so we have just a great time whenever we're here. This is a focus that we have around making sure that we are diverse, equitable, and inclusive. So when we bring in different topics, that represent the mosaic of our community, we're bringing relevancy to our stage. When we bring talent that brings all types of backgrounds to tell different stories, we're bringing authenticity. So it's very important that we have this type of, of, of conversation. It was a very real depiction of Dr. King, a very, very different presentation, but in, in no way does it diminish the work that he's done and his legacy lives on in us and, and, and even generations to come. Even many of our, of our Central Florida leaders being a part of it, coming and supporting it, uh, I thought was, was, was huge. Look forward to what's to come uh, here at the theater. Phenomenal! Phenomenal. It was amazing. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Absolutely. It was pleasure amazing. To watch, to, it was watch, to watch the two characters go from emotion to emotion like that was just something that was amazing. It was unbelievable. We saw that he was a flawed man. He wasn't a perfect man. He was a flawed man, but yes. he, was, he was still a great man at what he did for civil rights. We're continuing yeah. to try to carry on the baton. Yes. Pass the torch. What I would say to him is thank you uh, for the life and the legacy that he left behind. We're all standing on his shoulders. We would not be in the position that we're in today had it not been for the fight that Dr. King put in and, and others as well. So I'm so ever thankful here in this January of 2022. I would say thank you, sir. Thank you for your self-sacrifice. Thank you for just paving the way. Thank you for running the baton to the end of your race but then you also pass it on to us and that we firmly pick up the baton and will continue your race. Thank you for taking the baton and hopefully this new generation will take it on to the next level. You have to come see this. This is absolutely amazing. Great acting. Congratulations to Essex O'Brien. Yes, great job Essex. Great job.